Hey, Skid Row Trash doing a video tutorial on uh, RPG Maker VX Ace for background or battle backgrounds, and I uh, just showed the event uh, race event icon, how cool it is and stuff. Uh, yeah, so if you want to have a new battle background, I'll show you what that is quickly. Your battle background is like when you're in a battle. You know what? You can see better right here, actually. Our troops yeah see your battle background is how it looks in the background so if you want to have new ones you can um, you can set your own one for your map in here by uh, changing the bottoms and the top sort of one one over the uh, the one on the right overlays the one on the left so this is like a full size one so if you take it with nothing on that's how it looks and then the other thing just sort of pops on over top of it so, uh, you can mix them up, you know, make uh, new ones. And the way you get it to uh, sort of blend with it here is by using transparent, uh, using transparency and stuff like that. But say you want to have your own ones that you made and you want to pop them into the game. So, um, here's how you do that. Uh, first, I'd say you should probably go over to uh, Tools. Uh, resource manager and you might want to check battle backs one and two these are both the left and then the right uh, sections so you can preview and check them out here this is the transparent area you don't have to have this exact size you can actually go a little bit down however much you want and uh, it'll overlay over the other one so say you want this crystal here let's go export and you just want, I already exported some, so you're just going to export the ones you want. One from here, and one <laughs> from here. Export, pop it down, because then you'll want to go in and you'll want to edit it. Uh, edit it. <laughs> um, I'll show you right now. I have some here that I already, uh, I already made some to show you what they would look like. So I just took, I opened this up. Uh, again, I use GIMP. It's awesome free program if you're cheap like me. So um, see, this is transparent below. You can, it's pretty easy to see here. So I basically just sort of filled this whole area and recolored it with a ugly as hell house. And for the bottom, I made a really terrible looking road. And I didn't bother making it look nice on the top because this top section is going to overlay it. So that's that section there. So how do you get those into the game? If you save it uh, as the same name, it'll overwrite the one that comes in the game. So you should probably give it a brand new name. I called mine Ugly House and Ugly Road. You got to save them as PNG files so they will have transparencies and work with the the engine and all that sort of stuff but then you you copy them so copy your uh your your big one there uh and you want to cut it or copy it i'll copy it i already moved them so this is my game i want to go into graphics battle backs one that's where i put it and then you'll want to get your other one and put it into battle backs two this is your game folder, wherever you saved your game folder. I called this new BG game, background game. That's why uh, that looks like that. But, um, so now let's go into the game again. So they're just sitting in those files. Map properties. Uh, let's go here. There's my ugly, disgusting road. And there's my very terrible looking house. And now... Uh, so if I select that, that'll actually be the default uh, background of any fights in this area. Like this whole area here, any fights in this place will look like that. But um, uh, if you want to actually go in here, you can actually assign special ones, uh, I think. Or no, you can't. This is just for in here. But if you want to go and just test what it looks like in a battle, you can just come into your troops here. And you go battle test. I just have a whole bunch of stuff already selected. Slime emergency. Just sort of between the rocks there. 
you know, you can arrange them however you want. Okay, so, you know, you just arrange them however you want. That's how it'll appear. Uh, it's missing a bit of the bottom of it, so I probably... Or is that how it looks in the thing? Let's check one last time. Oh, it's the whole thing. I think it's the whole thing. Let's see, is that the whole thing? Or does it cut a little tiny piece off? Looks like it cuts a very small piece off, at least on the bottom. But anyways, that's how you do your um, new battle backgrounds. And, you know, they'll appear in the resource manager. All your ones with custom names will appear at the top with a little red icon. Preview, see, there it is there. Um, and then when you, uh, when you package up your game and export it, all your custom stuff will be put into it automatically if you have it in the right folders. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, if you renamed them, just if you resaved over another one, it would just be, it would be Crystal, and I think it would be at the top, maybe, but it would be, you know, you wouldn't have this one anymore. You would replace it, because it would think that you wanted to replace it or something. Um, anyways, uh, here's the thing for um, Erase Event. That's another good little... Uh, Another little, good little option in uh, when you're making events. Let me just load my game here. This one, uh, this was the one I made for entrances. So, um, what I have set up here is uh, when you come into this area, she's gonna come down and tell your guy something, and then go back to the top, and you only want it to happen once. So let's see if we can get that to work. So I'm going to go up here and open the door. And she's coming down. It's all automatic. Can you please leave my house. That's what she says. And she goes up there and just waits. Hi. 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 Just come back in again. It'll happen again. So if you want it like that, you can leave it like that. Or if you want it to only happen one time, you can do other stuff. But I'll show you. Um... I have that set in this this event here. I'm just going to show you. I have a race event in here. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't have a race event at the end of your little cutscene or whatever. This is what sort of will happen. It's just going to come down. It's just going to say, can you leave? And it's going to restart again over and over and over and over and then over. So that's why you really want to have a race event when you want to have an event only happen one time and when as soon as it's over, it'll get rid of it right at the end, like that. So then it shall come down, talk, and then go back up, and then it's all good again. But then you leave the house and you come back in, she's going to do it again. So if we want that to happen only one time, we're actually going to have to do probably a variable. So what you would do is you would set up a variable for just a one-time only event. And we're just going to call it something called uh, say hi, because she'll say hi. So it makes a bit of sense. Reply. So say hi. This thing will only happen when say hi is zero or above. So right before erase event, we're going to change a variable. Because it'll start at zero, so we're going to set it at minus two. So it'll play out, come down, talk, and go back up. It'll set it to minus two and erase the event. And then that should never, ever, ever play again. Let's try that real quick. There she is. Hello. Leave my house. Hi, hi. Now let's see if this how, if this works. Yeah, see? Uh, so that's how you would do a one-time only event. Or if you have some event repeating and you need it to end, you would uh, put an erase event near the end. That way uh, it won't just keep going and going. You could have it, of course, you know, certain things would happen when you come in that you would want to have happen, you know, each time you enter it and if that's the case you would just 
you would do with the erase event, but you wouldn't bother with the variables. That's just if you want it to be a one-time only thing. Uh, anyways, I hope this helps a bit if you're stuck on something, or if you don't know how to do those background things. Uh, Alright, see ya.